Who grunts the loudest in men's tennis? Why do people grunt? Who grunts the loudest in women's tennis? Who? Who? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Akila James and today we will be talking about why do tennis players grunt. Let's dive into this video. Number one, in tennis, you do need to breathe. On every shot you inhale, on every shot you release, you exhale. So grunting helps you get that going. Definitely important and it's something that you need to have. Another thing, number two, power into the shots. You need to have power in your shots, whether you're hitting topspin or aggressively, whether you're on the defense or offense, you need to be able to give a power shot and put everything you have into your legs, into your core, into your arm to give off the best shot possible. And when you hit the ball hard, it requires a lot of effort and you have to put everything into what you have. And of course, noise comes after that. Grunt. Grunting. Another thing is confidence, right? When I'm grunting, I feel confident. I feel like I'm in play. My opponent is really like getting distracted because I'm grunting and they think I'm better than what I am. They're no longer looking at your tennis, but they're like, why is she making all of this noise? And it's making them lose focus. Number four is because why? You release tension. When you have built up tension, what do you do? You make a noise. It's just like, I think that's psychological, scientific, spiritual. I'm pretty sure it's something though. So <laughs> that's why you do it. You release intention that is built up. It's like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah. And usually people don't really grunt on the volleys. Most of the time it's the serve, forehand, backhand slice maybe, or if you're stretching or reaching for a ball. Number five. It's rhythm, rhythm for tennis players to get their timing. You know, bounce hit, bounce hit, bounce hit is how you play. When you're grunting, it allows you to maintain that same timing. Bounce hit, bounce, uh, uh, this sounds really crazy. It sounds crazy when you're not on the tennis court, but it is a real thing. So to get your timing correctly, you want to have a noise or a indication of, okay, now, okay, now, okay, now. That, that sounds better, that sounds better. Number six, distracting your opponent. Some people try to come out here on the tennis court and they try to be this buff person or they try to be this super aggressive person and they are not. Some people come out to the tennis court and they have the look and not the game. And you know what? What are different ways to show your opponent that you did not come to play? Why not grunt? Aggressively, of course, aggressively. The most aggressive noise you could. Some people scream. Some people say come on after every point. Some of you would say Coco does that, which I have my views on that. Go Coco, go Coco, okay? A lot of people do different things to make sure that they're in the mental space so that they can stay focused. That's really what it's about. All of the spectators that have to say, you don't have to grunt or make noise. Spectators. Spe speckies. Spe spec speckies. Those are the few reasons why tennis players grunt. I wanted to just talk to you about it because it's something that people want to know. People want to know, especially I have a lot of friends that don't play tennis or do any sports, but one thing they know about tennis is that why does everybody grunt like this? And it's so funny because it's true, they do grunt, but you're grunting to release something. You're grunting for confidence. You're grunting for timing. You're grunting for just to breathe. You're, you're, just, you're in the moment. It's a high intense training session. It's a high intense match. You're just trying to release something so that you don't have anything build up and you don't have to feel like you're holding in your breath and you're talking like this and you don't have any So the release and the breathing gives it a better flow, a rhythm of things, one shall say. So that's why they grunt. I grunt, I don't grunt all the time. It depends on the situation, but most of the time I grunt and I try to stay consistent with it or not. Some people don't grunt. Some people only say come on when they have had a long point and then from since then, that's when they start to grunt. Some people grunt from the beginning. Now, it, it depends on who you are. I probably won't grunt from the beginning. Some people breathe into grunting. So you would hear them like exhale like And then it turns into ah or 
or yay that's a good one yay you know and the funny thing is depending on what part of the country you're from your grunt varies eh some people are like yay some people are like ah some people are like ah 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 like it's a lot on the vocals like as a singer no, I'm kidding. But it's a, it's definitely a lot on your vocals. I feel like if you're over exhausting in the grunt, better you chill. If you're getting tired while grunting, you need to reconsider. <laughs> reconsider! <laughs> I don't remember who said that, but that's funny. I'm so happy to talk to you. I personally feel like in the men's side, who grunts pretty loud is Nadal definitely. That's my boy. He definitely will give it to you. Serena grunts. She's a grunter. Venus is a grunter. Sharapova is a grunter. She is not actively on the tour anymore, but she's a grunter. Halep! Little cutie Halep. <laughs> Guys, once again, as always, thank you so much for watching my video, and I hope I was very informative in letting you know why us tennis players grunt. I'm gonna show you some faces of individuals that grunt that will blow your mind. This is funny. Stay tuned, this is funny. I feel like some spectators they go to matches just to see people grunt I'm pretty sure they do that <laughs> and the outfits for the women they do look at the outfits again guys thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and you'll be seeing more flicks and tricks of moi